One lawsuit updated just yesterday by a New York artist named Rodney Jones. He alleges sex trafficking, drugs, guns, and oh, inappropriate really? abuse of minors were all part of an organized enterprise. Oh. So he the one that put the minors in it. He's the... There it is. See, I thought his case was Cali. There it is. So he the one that he put the fucking in informant. I'm telling you, well, watch now. Cause look, you see how... Um... You see, they got the sex workers and last two digits of their cell phone. How the fuck would you know that? If you just a producer. And then they got the dates. Come on now. How, how, now this is the defense, not the defense, the Vietnam Lloyd, how they got all this? And this was recent. This was 20, uh, what, 2022, from 2022 to 2023, when he was working for him. No, now you said he was only working for him from September to November 2022. From, from September, from September 2022 to November 2023. Oh, earlier you said the same year. Okay. See, because when on um, Catch the Hook was up there, you was like, oh, he was like, oh, I thought it was like years, I'm not okay. three months. You had said 2022. Okay. Hold on, let me look up, look at it again. He was a fucking informant. Watch now, watch it's gonna come out. Now, this is allegedly maybe, I don't know, I'm guessing. It seemed like dude probably was working. That's crazy. Cause how? Now, how it says between September 2022 and November 2023. Yeah, but you just said the wrong 13 year. months. And all those dates fall within that time frame. All those dates fall within that time frame. He was so a he, he's the fucking plant. He was a plant. Cause think about it. Was the altercation like say September 2023? So that's nine, I mean, September 2022. So that's nine, 22. Let's go back to when it said 22. Um, the earliest date is November, 2022, from what I can see. Right. So that was three months after he, he linked up with Diddy. So I'm pretty sure too much couldn't have went wrong in three months. He was on the job. He was on the assignment. I'm telling you, so like the fuck, how else would you be looking at? You were supposed to be a producer just making music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's crazy. And you know the last two digits of stuff on up. Come on, man. That's crazy right now, though. Okay. I, so technically, we can say it's safe to say that maybe he was put there to identify these things. Because. If he done writing and making music and three months in, you're not debating with what you deserve, like when it comes to points on the album and the music and the stuff like that. You don't get into that until it's time to get the paperwork done. And the paperwork ain't in the split sheets. You don't do that until, you know what I'm saying? Everything right. is done. Who is that name they got? Who is Christina Coerms? Who is that? I'm gonna have to just get it because you know I never got did any paperwork because I wasn't gonna like look into it, but now it's interesting as fuck. Christina Corrin's consent. What did she get? Defendant Corrin's property is protected by security. So is is ba is they trying to say that that's the person that consent? Uh, probably saying that's the person that consent for Diddy property to be searched at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm finna um, pull it up real quick, but I'm gonna let this play real quick. Then we're gonna get back to my Keith got picked up and told it off. <laughs> Man, this shit be With some of that. the activity allegedly taking place at Combs properties. Lawyers for Combs in the past have denied any wrongdoing, but have not commented since yesterday's raids. Federal prosecutors in New York have interviewed numerous women who allege wrongdoing, sources oh, tell us. Uh, she was the chief of staff of Combs Enterprise. Mm. Mm. The chief of staff. Think about fucking uh, scandal. Who who knew about the meeting? That chief of fucking staff. They know about everything. 
right? Because she the one technically running that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. That isn't she the one that Rob said was his handler? Isn't so, Rob said. Mm. Former R&B singer and Combs' one-time partner Cassie has accused him of physically and sexually abusing her for years. Combs settled that lawsuit a day after it was filed, but Combs' lawyer says he does not admit any wrongdoing in that matter. Again, no criminal charges filed and the search warrant remains sealed. Combs, again, not yet commenting, but in the past has denied wrongdoing. The criminal investigation continues. David? Nah, that Jones dude is the worker. Like, that lawsuit, he goes in to talk about shootings and shit, saying that Diddy instructed him to, like, cover up a shooting, all types of shit. Like, that's that's the, the, the one. All right. That's the key fucking witness to it all. Come on, now it makes sense. He got dates and shit. Nigga, right. When he the nigga, when the nigga first got there, he got dates three months later. Come on, man. I, so what I said earlier in the live before we even got to this, I said shit. That nigga playing. He's right. the puppet. Somebody's the puppet master. Diddy was slammed with yet another lawsuit last month, this time brought on by music producer Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod. The 73-page lawsuit lays out dozens of allegations against Diddy, including that he forced Lil Rod to hire prostitutes and have sex with them. The court doc also claims Diddy himself assaulted Lil Rod, but that's not the only bombshell allegations revealed in the detailed documents. Lil Rod doesn't shy away from publicly naming other celebrities he says assaulted him. I don't know that Cooper Gooding Jr. is going to escape from that one. Let's start allegations against Academy Award winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Lil Rod alleges Diddy was, quote, grooming him to pass him off to his friends. This fear became reality when Mr. Combs introduced Mr. Jones to Cuba Gooding Jr. when they were on Mr. Combs's yacht. There's actually photos of their interaction together too, which are laid out in those court documents. In the first pic, you see Diddy and Cuba talking with Diddy's arms on Cuba's. In the next pic, Cuba has his arm around Lil Rod and is smirking. Court docs go on to state, quote, Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs his inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. He would. Now, I just want to say this. I, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand how someone can, how another man could take advantage of another grown man. I just don't, that it don't resonate with me. I don't understand. All that candy was, I guess shit. So, so you think he was under the influence of that candy? I mean, that's the way he made me paint it. If you know, shit, you never know. He probably offer a peppermint, and that peppermint had like some shit in it. I don't know. I really, other than that, I don't see no way of um, no other explanation other than he was constantly on drugs. Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie, uh, your boy Gooden, man, like, we have Ooh. seen multiple times Cuban Gooden. Oh, okay, okay. Now, we have, we have seen most, multiple times when he get drunk, now, he get a little, you know, aggressive. He, he get a little aggressive. Whoa, he get, oh, oh, damn, what was that? I must have fucking... Remember when the, um... He don't have you were good and junior is in the lawsuit too. Damn. Yeah, that that they say and, and that's what LaRon's saying that Diddy is grooming him to pass him on to him. But hold on now, because if he can remember all this, he couldn't have been too high. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is a grown ass man, at least 345. He 345 pounds. Did it really? man. Mickey, I don't know how big this nigga is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, this nigga, you feel me? This nigga ain't no little nigga. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into all this, I, hey. Please do the disclaimer. 
y'all make sure y'all like comment share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to pull up okay is p diddy going down is the question all right y'all already know all information contained on this live is for entertainment purposes only heavy on the mother f entertainment all information used during this live is per the fair use act and any conclusion that you draw is on you and your motherfucking mama now nobody on this panel or nobody in this chat but what the fuck <laughs> is going on i apologize to anyone this video may be embarrassing too um let's just jump right into it some of you may know me or may not i'm a music producer who's a writer and musician um different genres i started in the gospel and jazz and and r b and worked my way over to the hip-hop side i've been working on an album um i took a year off straight working on this album that album is the love album off the grid by diddy um and it's grammy nominated right now as we speak um i should be um celebrating but the truth is i'm not taking this album on has required so much time um you know months and at, at, at a time 16 hours to 24 hours a day um sometimes you know diddy will request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done and and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that i've tried to get my business straight with them on this album but the truth is they're not playing fair they they hit me on below the belt on so many situations just 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 dealing with this it's, it's the contract that they give me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting the the the, the producer fee pennies and on top of that these guys are trying to steal my publishing i can't go for that so i'm fighting back he's a fighter um but i'm 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 gonna put in this fight i gotta do it for myself my rights and most importantly my kids taking my publishing or stealing it is it's just it's i'm not gonna let that happen not gonna let that happen again this is one of those projects that that took so much time from me i miss days uh with my family just out working on this album at what point I was running around with the, the hard drives, the computer, just to run the ball on this album to finish the production on it and make sure that this album came to, you know, a good project with good vibes, you know, just where it is right now. Um, and just to be offered little to no participation in this is highly disrespectful. I won't be that guy. 20, 30 years from now, looking back saying, I wish I'd done this. I'm gonna do this now. Um, doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't have the the, the monies that it's gonna take to fight him in court. So I'm just asking, you know, if you two thousand years later, bro, the heck is I run shit. Yeah, yeah, I, you so said I run shit. It's, it's, yeah, you do. Yeah, little Rod ain't worth giving this kingdom to if we don't control his publishing. I can solve his efforts with three other human beings. He's eating at our table, and I like his backstory. But you need to have other people. We, it's hard to work with him unless we have his power. He's a piece of shit human, but we do not need his talent unless we can work with him. 